This is a demonstration of the Soundscape game. Uh, this is the basic setup of it. Uh, it's using Kinect motion control input for the inputs. And this is mapped to a interfacing program on um, the laptop here called Fast. And any gestures that the user does is linked to the gestures in this program. And what this program does is basically look for a skeleton which tells it what gestures the user is doing. And this is the basic game then. Uh, so the idea behind Soundscape is that it's an audio only game uh, with no visuals and the idea of it is to find sounds using 3D positioning. Uh, it's been made for um, two channel headphones. Uh, it can be played on speakers but it's not advisable because it's not been mixed for that at the minute. But I'll just do a demonstration of the gameplay in action really. So I'll need to calibrate uh, by doing the calibration pose that FAST asks for. So that's the calibration pose. And then on the screen it says perform an action. So if I perform an action, by, I've just got to go and click the game screen. There you are. We can see you clearly now. There. Remember not to wander off or get out of the camera's range. If you do, the game will not work properly and you'll need to form a surrender pose to get back into game. Now, we're at the main menu screen. To start a new game, hold your left arm out to the side. To quit this game, crouch down. You can do this at any point during the game to so quit. So the game gives you uh, a narration. Try to stay still and face the camera. Uh, and so tell you what to do throughout the game. Here uh, it's have. told me to raise my left arm. Well, oh. probably you've been travelling through time oh. and space. Oh. the game. So the controls are basically you walk on the spot you hear this sound, it and you hear a footstep that represents in the game. It signifies I have something important to tell you. Please be aware I'm trying to help you navigate out. Proceed on to the next instruction. And you're given more instructions as to what to do in the game. So you basically inputting controls and it does what it does in the game in real time. If you hear a noise, means there is a feeling that from you get noise to say what you're feeling. If you come up against the surface, it's better to turn away and walk in another direction. That brings me on to turning. You can do this by holding your right or left arm out to turn right or left. When you turn, you will notice sound moves around you. So I hear the explanation of the sound padding around. I'll tell you more about it when you get It happens when you uh, hold your right and left arm out, so when you turn right, the sound tends to move around. But you'll notice it more. Uh, when you've got two channel headphones on. That means the sound's getting further away there, now up against the wall, so... The sound you can currently hear is an objective sound. You will hear these whenever there is an objective to do. In this case, you need to head over towards it by following the sound in your headphones. So basically all the instructions are just given to you by a narration. There's no graphics happening on the screen. Um, you get your clues about where you are by sounds getting louder and uh, trying to work out where the panning is really. So the more centralised the sound is, the more central it is there and that's allowed you to find it. So. And that tells you against the wall. So. Uh, 